from the ground up. More than a building, it tells a story of our grit, our dogged determination, our global reputation for innovation, our compassionate care. It holds the promise of snuggling a newborn, of belly laughs at the perfect joke, of a warm embrace held too long. Cancer takes too much, but it can't take our Alberta spirit. It's time to own cancer. Own it with courage. Own it with research. Own it with will. The more we own cancer, the less it owns us. What part of the story will you own? Are you all ready, Alberta? Let's go. I can't tell you how excited I am to be here with you tonight to launch our $250 million capital campaign for the Calgary Cancer Center. My name's John Osler, and I'm honored to be your host this evening. And I may have the mic right now, but I'm speaking on behalf of my co-chairs, Heather Culbert and Deborah Yedlin. You'll hear from them shortly. I'm also here on behalf of a cabinet of volunteers who are already working hard to deliver the greatest impact for Albertans facing cancer. We also represent our philanthropic partners in this campaign, the University of Calgary and the Alberta Cancer Foundation. We had hoped to have this launch in person. Instead, we're bringing you the next best thing, a virtual sneak peek inside the Calgary Cancer Center, or more accurately, the mock-up space. I'm joining you live from the Calgary Cancer Center project space, where our incredible team built, tested, and received feedback from those who will be in the new center, doctors, staff, patients, and families. Around me, you may notice signs like this one indicating that a table is too big, a doorknob is too high, or a cheerful image would brighten the space. The team has been listening so that when the new cancer center opens, it will be the best place in Canada for cancer care. As we begin, I, we want to acknowledge Treaty 7 territory, the traditional and ancestral territory of the Blackfoot Confederacy. That's the land on which the Calgary Cancer Center sits. We acknowledge the Kenai, the Pekani, the Siksika, as well as the Sutina Nation and the Stony Nakoda Nation. We acknowledge that this territory is home to the Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3 within the historical Northwest Métis homeland. We acknowledge the many First Nations, Métis and Inuit who have lived in and cared for these lands for generations. And we are grateful for the traditional knowledge keeper and elders who are still with us today and those who have gone before us. Tonight, you're going to hear about this game-changing opportunity and the impact it will have in Calgary, in Alberta, in Canada, and around the world. And you'll hear why this cancer center really matters. At more than 1.3 million square feet, it will be the largest comprehensive center of its kind in Canada. It's long overdue, considering we outgrew the Tom Baker Cancer Center a generation ago. This new facility will double the Tom Baker's capacity for treatment and double the space for clinical trials. And it will do that with 160 inpatient beds, 100 chairs for systemic treatment, 12 volts for radiation therapy, clinical and operational support services, molecular testing labs, and over 110,000 square feet of wet and dry research space. On top of that, there will be 1,640 underground heated parking stalls. Cancer patients and their families will know why that's important. Those are a lot of numbers, but what they add up to is an extraordinary place where some of the brightest minds in the world will spark new ideas about how to solve some of the most challenging questions about cancer. And it will further elevate the already excellent care and research taking place in this city. This is a place where we will bring all parts of the cancer journey together. Prevention, detection, right to survivorship under one roof. Researchers, medical teams, patients and families will connect like never before. Albertans will feel it as soon as they walk through those doors when the center opens in 2023. That's just two years away. From the healing, warm environment with natural light throughout to the extra space for family support, quiet space for reflection, and of course, spectacular views of the city and the Rockies. Throughout the evening, you'll hear from different people and what this cancer will mean to them. For those we've lost, for those who will face a cancer diagnosis today, tomorrow, 
We are here in their names, for them, for their families. We need to change the course, change the cancer landscape, and change the narrative on cancer. Why not, Alberta? It's time. Time for us to own cancer. I invite you to think about what owning cancer means to you. Maybe you own it through research. Maybe you own it with courage. Maybe you own it in the memory of a friend, a loved one. Maybe you own it in the little things, the way you face the day, the way you seize joyous moments with your family. One thing we know is that everyone's cancer is different and it's deeply personal. I know that all too well, but I also know this. Collectively, we can do so much more. Together, that's how we'll own cancer. Now, it's not lost on us that we're launching this campaign in the middle of this heavy fourth wave of the pandemic. We've been working closely with our partners at Alberta Health Services, in, in, in particular in Cancer Care Alberta, and we see and hear what they're going through every day. We know that COVID has stopped a lot of things, but one thing it didn't stop is cancer. Albertans continue to hear the words, you have cancer, COVID or not. One more time, please get vaccinated if you haven't already for cancer patients, for each other, for you, so that we can all get back to normal. We have immense gratitude for our healthcare workers and our healthcare system, especially now the leadership we have seen from Dr. Verna Yu and her Alberta Health Services team has been so admirable. Now I'm pleased to welcome Dr. Mark Joffe, Moro Cheese from Alberta Health Services to say a few words, along with Dr. Ed McCauley, President and Vice Chancellor of the University of Calgary, and Wendy Beauchene, Chief Executive Officer of the Alberta Cancer Foundation. Thank you, John, and thank you for the acknowledgement on which the land of which the Calgary Cancer Centre is built. For those of you who haven't seen it yet, it rises out of the hillside into the skyline and blends in very well with the landscape. But the new Calgary Cancer Centre is more than just a building. Instead, it's an opportunity to be part of something transformational. It's an opportunity for us to own cancer. Too often, cancer writes the story of our lives, but in this campaign, we're taking back the pen. With your support, we will own cancer through education, ensuring that people have the tools that they need to understand and embrace prevention. We will own cancer through precision with diagnostics and treatments that are customized to the specific needs of each individual. We will own cancer by keeping our patients at the very heart of everything we do. Through world-class integrative oncology, we will treat more than cancer. We will build systems of support, systems that understand each patient for who they are, where they come from, and what matters the most to them. And we will own cancer by keeping our eye on the future. We will continue to improve the outcomes for our patients from screening to survivorship. Through research and innovation, we will better understand how to prevent and how to fight cancer. And we will be able to attract medical teams that will conquer these challenges. On behalf of almost 200,000 Albertans who are living with cancer, I want to thank you for support of this campaign and look forward to this growing partnership. And now I'd like to hand things over to Dr. Ed McCauley, President of the University of Calgary. This is our moment to come together and own cancer. For the one in two Canadians who will develop cancer, for the families who care for them, for the survivors, and for all of us who have lost loved ones to the disease. The University of Calgary is proud to own cancer research, partnering with Alberta Health Services, the Alberta Cancer Foundation, and you, our greater community, on this once in a generation opportunity. Like the city we call home, U Calgary was built by sheer grit and determination, by the community and for the community. It's what drives us to this day, and it makes us uniquely positioned to meet the cancer challenge. This is where innovation happens, where big ideas grow and leaders thrive, where experts come together to build real world ready solutions to society's challenges, and where we join with our partners 
to bring the best to our province and the world, recognizing that we are stronger together. The University of Calgary is already leading the cancer charge. At the Arnie Charbonneau Cancer Institute, we've integrated research and care across disciplines, from understanding and preventing cancer to improving life with and after cancer. We are owning cancer with research, developing new diagnostic tools to identify, target, and weaken cancer before it can take hold. We are advancing precision medicine, revolutionizing the way we diagnose and treat disease, leading to the right treatment for the right patient at the right time. And our research is improving the lives of patients and families with strengths spanning pediatric psychosocial oncology to immunotherapy to informing policy to enhance our healthcare system. The Calgary Cancer Centre will take us even further. Located footsteps from our institution, this is where we will own cancer. We will capitalize on New Calgary's role as a research powerhouse, home to a robust innovation ecosystem, high-tech labs, and state-of-the-art spaces for teaching and learning. With top scientists, clinicians, and educators housed under one roof, working side-by-side -side and across disciplines, we will be unstoppable. In short, it's a game changer. It's bold and it's ambitious. And it's what we do here in Alberta. This is our time, our opportunity to come together as a community and own cancer once and for all. Thanks, Ed. On behalf of the Alberta Cancer Foundation, our board and our donors, we are absolutely thrilled to be a partner in a campaign to own cancer. Everything we do here at the Foundation ties back to patients, to their families, to Albertans, to help make life better for Albertans facing a cancer diagnosis. And we often hear from patients and families that they want to take back some control from a disease and diagnosis that can frankly feel uncontrollable at times. They want to own cancer in their own way. And yes, we want this campaign to be groundbreaking, but remember it will only be truly groundbreaking when it impacts a patient. So whether you're a researcher or a clinician, a volunteer, a patient, or a donor, we all have a role to play. And that's what this campaign is all about. It's about the power of partnerships and what can happen when you pair top talent and some of the brightest minds you'll find anywhere together with foundational government commitments and extraordinary support and belief from the community. And as you'll hear tonight, this campaign is more than bricks and mortar. What will happen in this building will change lives here in Calgary, across Alberta, around the country and around the world. Our Alberta spirit of innovation will make sure that what happens in the labs, in the chemo chairs, in the radiation vaults, and in the quiet spaces will change the cancer landscape as we know it. It's time. Together, we can own cancer. Thank you, Mark, Morrow, Ed, and Wendy. We are so grateful for your leadership in this campaign and beyond. A few minutes ago, I invited you to own cancer in whatever way feels right for you. I am a cancer survivor, and I have seen so many people own cancer. I've seen it in the grim determination of cancer patients receiving their treatment and engaging the fight. I've seen it in the eyes of those crossing the finish line after the Embridge ride with the knowledge that they have done something epic for a mom or a dad, a brother, or a sister, a loved one, a friend. And I've heard it in the words, you are cancer free, go live your life. In this center where more and more people will hear more good news than bad, we will own cancer. We asked a few other people who know cancer well, maybe too well, to tell us how they plan to own it. Let's hear what this means to a few of the doctors, researchers, staff, and patients who are joining us to meet the cancer challenge. I'm owning cancer by participating in world-class research that may help me and others living with cancer. We're owning cancer through the Calgary Cancer Centre, where the very best research will meet the very best clinical care. I'm owning cancer by halting it in its tracks by finding new and innovative ways to prevent cancers caused by toxic exposures in our environment. 
My hope is that the new Calgary Cancer Centre will provide a fresh and new approach that will help meet the needs of marginalized populations in a deep and diverse way. We're owning cancer by capitalizing on our strengths and working with our community to take us further. Through innovative research, we'll improve patient care. I'm owning cancer by developing tailored immunotherapies for each individual patient. We own cancer by working together to improve the outcomes of all Albertans. I'm owning cancer for my family and for my nation. I'm owning cancer for my community, my family, and my brother. I really own cancer for all of my patients. I'm owning cancer for the future generations of Canadian children. I'm a population health researcher, so I really own cancer for the entire population. I would say that I'm owning cancer for an entire community that stood behind me for the last six years. I'm owning cancer for all of us. I'm owning cancer for kids with cancer and for their families and for their loved ones. So great to hear all of those different voices. We also want to thank Dr. Don Morris and Dr. Jennifer Chan. They were in that video and they, along with Caroline Hatcher from Alberta Health Services, have been instrumental in identifying fundraising priorities to helping our volunteer cabinet understand the impact these philanthropic dollars will have on research, treatment and care. We thank them for the support of this campaign. Our community, our partners are so important. We are grateful to organizations like the Alberta Children's Hospital Foundation. Uh, it has made a commitment to this campaign by raising funds for pediatric cancer. We can't do it alone. Thank you, Alberta Children's Hospital Foundation. Speaking of partners, I would now like to introduce my campaign co-chairs. Uh, it's been and will be an absolute pleasure to work alongside them. Please welcome Heather Culbert and Deborah Yedlin. Thanks, John. It's hard to believe that this day is here. For years, John and I and so many others have been advocating for this cancer center and to see it rising in the sky, getting closer to completion, it's no exaggeration to say that this is a dream come true and a very emotional one at that. We are so excited to finally kick off this campaign knowing the challenges that many people are facing right now. We, are, we struggled with the right time to do this, but we came to the determination that now is the time to launch. The people of Alberta need and deserve some good news. And this is certainly something to celebrate. And as John said, COVID has canceled many things, but it didn't stop cancer. Our vision for the Cancer Center is being realized right before our very eyes. The architecture is brilliant. The thought and details of creating a comprehensive Cancer Center have been very carefully considered. The collaboration between AHS, University of Calgary and Alberta Cancer Foundation has been exceptional. These are the minds that we need to come together to achieve the reality of a comprehensive cancer center. One that is patient centric with the physicians and researchers coming together to create the best treatment plans for each patient to ensure the best outcomes. Speaking of collaboration, the project team, including PCL, Dialog and Stantec, worked with the Alberta Health Services Patient and Family Advisory Council to consider every little detail so when patients do come to this room, they can concentrate on healing. We're standing here in an inpatient room at the mock-up space for the Calgary Cancer Center. These are important details to get right as we need to ensure that our cancer patients are our first priority. And since 2014, this is what folks at AHS and our 76 patient advisors have been working on. Whether it be patients undergoing diagnosis, treatment or care, we need to hear about the experiences from patients and family members as they know what it's like to spend hours receiving chemo or being at the bedside of a loved one. This room, these details, they're the most important reminder of why we have launched this big, very bold campaign. We want to own cancer. So patients walking through the doors of the Cancer Center will receive the best possible care by the brightest minds and the most compassionate uh, people that are helping us with cancer. We'll be learning in real time from every person treated in the center, in these beds, in the chemo wards, radiation vaults, in all corners. We will take that knowledge back to our researchers who will build on it, ask smart questions, so we can always be improving for Alberta, Albertans who sadly will follow in those same footsteps. We all have a personal cancer story. In 2009, I was told that I had cancer. 
those words, you have cancer, can be the three scariest words that you will ever hear. My mother had heard them too, and sadly, she lost her 25-year courageous battle to cancer. I'm sure that each and every one of us have experienced it ourselves or seen it through the eyes of a loved one. There is a pressing need to change the way cancer is prevented, detected, and treated. How pressing? A local oncologist who is part of this exciting project recently reminded me that one in two Albertans will face cancer diagnosis in their lifetime. It means that we have a 50% chance of walking through the doors of the Calgary Cancer Centre. He said, when it's my turn to walk through those doors, I want to make sure that the care and treatment is the best in the world. And with the brilliant minds we have here in Alberta and the incredible support of the community, we have before us the opportunity to do just that. Now, I'm sure you're all asking, how can I be a part of the solution? Well, we can all step up and do our part in a small way, in a big way, in any way that is meaningful to you. We can own cancer together. So here's my call to action. To all of the champions of Calgary and Southern Alberta and Alberta, big or small, young or old, we ask you to start your own fundraising initiatives to help us reach our goal of $250 million and be part of creating our own world-class cancer center. On our website, owncancer.ca, you can track our progress as we celebrate every dollar raised. So my challenge to you is, how will you make a difference? Before I turn it over to my fellow co-chair, Deborah Yedlin, there's a whole group of volunteers we need to acknowledge. Our campaign cabinet has been working hard behind the scenes for about a year now, learning about this cancer center, making connections, and seeing how we can help reach this big fundraising goal. Luckily, we have a very resourceful and passionate group of committed cabinet members who will help take us to the finish line. And that's we are very, very grateful for. So thanks to all of you for sharing your time and your wisdom in this campaign. You are champions of the community. The names of all of our cabinet members and updates on the campaign can be viewed on our owncancer.ca website. One short month ago, we were reminded about why this campaign really, truly matters. One of our very own cabinet members lost her life to cancer, glioblastoma. Dana Quisley was a young mom, a wife, a daughter, a self-described cancer warrior, a lawyer, pro bono legal counsel, and a kick-ass cancer fundraiser. Not only was Dana courageous as she fought the good fight, but unselfishly, she also helped us with her advice and her own very successful fundraising efforts. Our thoughts and prayers are with her family and loved ones at this very difficult time. Thank you, Dana. We draw our motivation from Dana and so many other Albertans. We want to own cancer for them, and we will own cancer for them. Thanks, Heather. That's a very powerful reminder of why we're all here. We have an opportunity to write a brave new story for all individuals and families facing cancer, beginning here in Alberta and impacting our global community. Sadly, we've all been touched by this disease. I watched my mother go through treatment when I was young, and then 40 years later, I watched a friend grow, go through a very similar, similar protocol. Thankfully, much has changed since then. We've made many advancements, but we need to push the pace of discovery, the pace of translation even more, because cancer continues to affect each of us. Everyone has a story of a personal journey, of a relative, of a friend. This cancer center, the talent, the bright minds we have here in Alberta are some of our best resources. You might say they are our renewable resources and we need to provide them with the support they need that will lead to an economic, health and social renaissance that will come from the work being done in this city. This is a great story for Calgary, for our province and for our country. This center, the world-class research taking place within and around it, through the University of Calgary's Arnie Charbonneau Cancer Institute will propel us to become a leading health centre in North America, a city where researchers, patients, students and doctors know solutions happen here. It is the perfect match for our entrepreneurial spirit. We know it will lead to even more innovation and more importantly, change people's lives. I'm now pleased to introduce to you Katie Smith, fellow cabinet member and powerhouse in her own right. Katie will share a few words on what owning cancer means to her. Hi everyone, thanks for having me. My name is Katie Smith and I'm a recent cancer survivor. 
I've joined the Calgary Cancer Center campaign in its effort to raise $250 million towards transforming cancer care, treatment, and research in Alberta. Now, my experience with cancer started last October when I was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 32. Now, with no family history and no genetic markers, it was an unexpected and unwelcome surprise. And cancer at any time is an overwhelming and scary experience, whether you're dealing with it personally or you, or you have a loved one going through it. Cancer during a pandemic is even stranger, from the constant stress of being immunocompromised through to people finding creative ways to support you. My head shave was live streamed over Zoom. Having had friends and family go through previous experiences with cancer, from them I knew that I had two choices I could take with my cancer experience. I could choose to own it or I could let it own me. Being the raging extrovert that I am, I chose to own my cancer story and went public with my diagnosis immediately. Having a platform at work and in the community, I felt that by sharing my story that others, especially my girlfriends and my female colleagues and peers, would take their health seriously and get regularly screened. Now my choice to own my story is why the new Cancer Centers campaign, Own Cancer, resonates so much with me personally. To me, this campaign is about how we, as a community, are taking back control of this awful disease and how each and every one of us can own a part of this next evolution of cancer care in Alberta. Now, over the past year, the Tom Baker Cancer Center was integral to my oncology experience. It's where I went for chemotherapy treatments and during radiation, I visited it every single day. While I personally hope to never visit the new Calgary Cancer Center as a patient, I'm excited that the new Calgary Cancer Center will offer the ability to better serve patients and staff. For patients, more space in the chemotherapy rooms for us and our supportive loved ones, more capacity, better facilities, and access to leading edge equipment. The ability for staff to better recruit and retain both the staff that have dedicated their lives to the physical and psychosocial well-being of cancer patients like me, to support the researchers who work tirelessly on new research to impact and hopefully one day cure the many cancers that our society is burdened with today. So for decades, Calgary has been a destination for many people to come to, to work, to explore, and to thrive. And unfortunately, this means that many people do not have access to the same support networks that I did as a born and raised Calgarian. It's my sincere hope that the new Calgary Cancer Center can lead the next generation of cancer care and will serve as a hub for all those experiencing cancer so that they don't have to face this journey alone. Now join me and we can own cancer together. Thank you, Katie, for sharing your story. Young and old, cancer affects us all. Now we would be remiss if we didn't acknowledge Daughter Creative, the agency behind our own cancer brand. They pushed us to be bold, to be unique and get the conversation started and they certainly succeeded. I'm excited to share an exclusive first look at an ad we've created that shows where we are heading together, <coughs> turning the table and flipping the script on cancer. We invite you to join us, be part of writing, rewriting that script. How does it feel? Knowing there's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, knowing today could be your last. It might be. It will be. If we have anything to say about it. How does it feel, cancer? Knowing we're coming for you. Just like you came for us. Our friends. Our family. We won't stop until you're gone. Wow, that video felt like such a great representation of this campaign brand. It's gritty, it's determined, and it's pushing us to write, rewrite a new ending so more Albertans can ring that bell when they finish their treatment, walk out of that cancer center, and resume living. And that's exactly why we're here tonight. This is, this is our chance to do more. Are you ready, Alberta? Let's go. This is our time, time to own cancer. We've talked about how we need you to join us by donating, by volunteering, by getting your hands on some merchandise. You'll see that I'm wearing a very stylish hoodie. <laughs> And that will help us raise awareness in the community and hopefully somebody will say to you, tell me about OWN. 
and you'll, you'll proudly tell them. So visit our website, owncancer.ca. Tonight, we also invite you to look to some of our iconic landmarks in the city. They will be lit up in yellow, reflecting our own brand. But it's also about honoring those with cancer, those we've lost, and those living with it now, because that's what this campaign is all about. Thank you to Arts Commons, Olympic Plaza, Calgary Tower, and the Telespark for lighting up for OWN tonight. We also want everyone to see the newest landmark we're adding to our Calgary skyline, a skyline that's getting bigger as our story gets brighter and brighter. The Calgary Cancer Centre, the building of the evening, will be lit up too. As we conclude this program, we want to share an exciting number with you. As you've heard, our cabinet has already been working behind the scenes on this campaign, raising money for this cancer center so that when it opens its doors in 2023, it is ready to provide Albertans the best possible treatment and care. We can only achieve the full potential of the Calgary Cancer Center with your support. That's why we're raising $250 million for revolutionary research, for tomorrow's life-saving technology, and for all of the extra comforts to help people on their own cancer journey. Tonight, I'm pleased to share, we've raised $70 million to date towards this project. Yay. Yay. <laughs> we are off to a great start, but we still have a ways to go. We need our community to get us to the finish line. Please make a donation today. We hope you'll join us. Thank you for coming and thank you for sharing in our excitement. It really is exciting. Have a great night. This is just the beginning. Together, we will own cancer. <laughs>